Hi, this is Jim Starkworth, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and ArmRama.com, and welcome to another Cracking the Box uh, Quickie. This one's going to be a, a Quickie because it's just a, a small uh, wood laser card parts from Plus Model. This is the second uh, one of these I've done. We did Cable Reel Small, which um, is in this box. Can anybody see a conundrum already? But <laughs> All right, well, we'll, see. we'll check these one out, these out. But uh, all right, well, uh, this is four, five, six. Uh, again, one thirty-fifth scale from uh, Czech uh, manufacturer uh, Plus model, uh, Czech Republic. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look. Let's, let's crack her open. All right, so this one uh, again has an instruction sheet uh, with. Information you can buy these products direct from the modelchoice.net website, by the way. Uh, if you can't find them at your local hobby stores or such, uh, in a very similar fashion, they go together very, very, uh, very much like the uh, 455 uh, small cable reel, small. Um, and that's pretty much the same parts, although there are more of these uh, iron flange pieces with uh, resin bolts. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the actual parts though. So you can see right away the um, indeed the the center la uh, center lattice uh, roll bit is larger uh, and that, so that's basically cable reel small meaning I think it's about the same diameter um, I can compare actually and see just so people know it's a, it's a bit it's a bit larger uh, you can see here's the other one just so for comparison's sake since I do have it right here next to me I don't normally do these comparison things for reviews or unboxings but. If I can get it out of the box, my, it is a challenge to get these out of the box because they just fit the box exactly. Uh, so you can see here's the the large, and here's the small. So not a huge giant giant difference, but the difference I think is in the diameter of these. Uh, you can see the diameter of these pieces is also larger. So by about I'm guessing in scale, maybe you know quite a bit, uh, quite a bit in scale. Yes, that's a, that's a very very exact uh, gem. Very. Yeah, well, you know, it's visible. Let's put it that way. All right, so we can open the second bag of parts. And um, definitely see that this piece is larger uh, than the prior one because, again, I didn't take that. Put the, put the prior one away in, in bags. Bad me. All right, so here are all the things. And you get, it looks like you get in this one, uh, one, two, three... Four. You're getting four reels in each. Four, uh, yeah, four reels in each box, and that's true for the smaller one as well, um, which I left a detail I left out, but it was kind of obvious. So here's the uh, the bolts, and again, let me try to get my camera to cooperate here and focus, focus camera, focus power. Hmm. Anyways, there'll be some photos at the end, but they are they are nicely detailed little resin bolts there. Uh, so these pieces go on to here. Uh, those pieces form the, the center hub, and then these are the, the reels on each side to hold the wire. Now, no wire example was provided for this, so I assume these are going to be empty reels, unless you figure out what kind of wire you want to attach and then put it on there. But uh, then a nice job on the box there with uh, detailing those. I like the, the blue the blue painted one in the K12 marking. No markings provided, just, you know, you're going to you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, to, to uh, do that one on your own. Let's go ahead and see what, what other piece was provided because there's definitely something else in here. My trusty scissors. I guess this is just a backer board. Yeah, I guess it's just a backer piece of cardboard. Um, so yeah, there's the other center and then these are the flangey pieces on dark gray cardboard. I actually changed my camera setup. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, using a slightly different, I'm using a gooseneck for the for the webcam now. It just makes it a little easier to reposition if I wanted to. And uh, I've got my light set up actually to the right of me instead of before it was always coming in from behind the monitor, which always created scenarios where the monitor was, uh, you know, not. Uh, but here, I mean, just just to give you a, a little web lesson in terms of doing this kind of stuff. This is the Logitech HD web, uh, HD Pro Webcam C920. This is it on automatic focus. Now if I change it off of automatic, actually that wasn't on automatic, wasn't on automatic? Okay, that's on automatic focus, right? If I go to manual focus, 
Uh, yeah. Okay, so here, let, let's get it. That's what I'm seeing is basically being kind of in focus, right? And then that's the automatic focus setting. So yeah, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work probably because it's it's not designed for like these really close ranges. So unfortunately, if I don't leave it on autofocus, though, then when I move things up, it won't focus. So I have to end up with this kind of. This is why this is why I'm so like not happy with this webcam. I have to leave it in this autofocus mode and settle for scenarios like that where it's not in focus. But if I click, I click off autofocus and I use the manual setting. See, oh look, now it's in focus. Why can't it just d measure this distance and do the right focus? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe I just have a bad example of this webcam, but maybe they're all like this. I think it's more likely they're all like this. All right, well, that little web thingy aside, and I'm sure I'm sure uh, Peter at uh, Plus Model is happy that I inserted that into the video for this, this product. Um, <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look at some photo, up close photos, and then uh, probably say adios. I don't think there's uh, too much uh, further need for me to verbalize anything. Uh, I'd like to thank them for sending us this sample, of course, and uh, we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box.